So um, there was another occasion now with Victor. This time round, he's meant to be going into the operating theatre again. Um, I can't remember exactly what for, but one of the crazy things is the name tag that was on his body, that was on his person, didn't belong to him. Uh, it was Mr. Williamson or something like that. So he's taken into the theatre as Mr. Williamson. So it's fair to assume that the doctors who are about to operate on him are about to operate on Mr. Williamson. So whatever medical provisions that he had in mind, whatever allergies or medicines that he's supposed to take, um, they, they're aware of those allergies, they're aware of the medicine and they're aware of essentially how they're going to cut him up or whatever operation they intend to do to Mr. Williamson. Victor Agbega isn't Mr. Williamson. So I, I, I'm, I'm sure you're, you're pulling together the, the image that, you know, um, that this, what this actually looks like. He gets into the theatre and normal conversation starts. And it's only then when they um, <clears throat> start asking him about his kidney, does he then, you know, clock on? Because Victor doesn't know at that point in time. Um, it's only then that Victor clocks on like, whoa, I haven't had any operation on my kidney. Why are they talking about a kidney operation? And then in his confusion there, when he brings that up to the doctor, they're like, oh my days, we have the wrong person. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. I shouldn't laugh. I can laugh now because, well, we laugh about it now. Um, but it isn't funny. So that's that's another occasion where, um, you know, uh, something that could have ended up being really unfortunate happened to Victor. And this is another reason why um, he's become mistrusting, you know, um, of the doctors and mistrusting of the hospital as well. I said, I'm going to theatre. She said, oh my God, I shouldn't have gave you that. Because everybody knows if you have that, it thins the blood and you can bleed to death. Mm. Yeah? So she said, oh my God, I shouldn't have gave you that. So she's ran out to talk to the matron. And this time the curtains are closed, you know. And I can hear them whispering outside. Oh, I gave him heparin, I shouldn't have gave it to him. He's going to fit. The matron goes, how much have you given him? How much? We've gone to have to send him today because this is the third time now and they're getting a bit uptight at the other end, you know, the other hospital. Mm. So we have to send him. So anyway, she's come back in. And when she come back in, she said to me, actually, I didn't give you any. So I said, what do you mean you didn't give me any?